Hello, hello, and welcome back to another episode of Dental Conference Conversations, the podcast where we have conversations about Dental Conference. I am your host, Kaylin, and today we get to talk about <coughs> Elder Oaks, or sorry, President Oaks' last talk um, of the Sunday morning session called Covenants and Responsibilities. And as always, I encourage you to listen to or read or watch this talk before you come and listen to me uh, talk about it so you can get your own inspirations and um, promptings and see what stands out for you. There is a lot in here. It's very information dense as President Oaks' talks usually are. And so I will not get to even a tenth of what he talks about in here. Um, But as I said, this is the last talk in the Sunday morning session, so next episode will be starting the last session, which is good because we are now a month, just under a month away from conference, which is crazy. Um, So we're, we're getting there, we're getting close. So Elder, my goodness, President Oaks' talk is all about covenants, obviously, from the, you can see it right there. And his, he starts out by asking the question, um, how does your church differ from others? And he kind of talks about how that, his answer to that question has varied over the years, um, and as the church has grown, and so this time around he says i'm going to talk about temples and the importance of covenants specifically and so he goes along he goes ahead to do just that he talks about covenants and the kind of history of covenants in abrahamic religions specifically in the old testament and covenants also in the New Testament and then in the Book of Mormon <clears throat> and then the history of covenants in our church um, that it was some of the first things that that God talked to Joseph Smith about when he was restoring the church he was going to restore the Abrahamic covenant and to restore you know baptism and then all of the temple covenants along with that and then it talks about kind of what the purpose of covenants are right and the very beginning he defines covenants very very simply he says a covenant is a commitment to fulfill certain responsibilities um i thought that was just very straightforward i really liked that um and when you look look up covenant, it says an agreement. And I have been fascinated with the word covenant recently because it seems to be popping up more and more in general conference specifically. Obviously, we've talked about covenants for years and years and years, right? Um, and how important they are. But more and more often, we have started using covenants in phrases like covenant people, covenant belonging, covenant worship, covenant relationship. And so I was fascinated to figure out, okay, what does covenant mean, right? Where does that come from? And what does it mean in relation to these? Now now we're, we're using these other descriptors for relationship with God or people of God, right? We are the covenant people of God. And so, when you look up covenant, and also my shallow understanding of Latin root root words, and like, just like thinking about, okay, what does covenant sound like, right? It sounds like convene, it sounds like something like that, right? And funny enough, um, it goes back to the Latin word convenir, Um, which means to agree or to assemble and and it is the same origins of as the word convene um, 
literally con means together and veneer means to come and so we come together right you assemble you agree on something you're coming together you're compromising and thinking of it that way was really interesting when i was thinking about covenants um of course we know that covenants are are our um the tool that we use to have a closer relationship with god to come together with god right we are promising certain things to him and he is promising certain things back and then going farther than that right what is the what is the covenant people mean what how does that change how does that meaning change and that can like thinking about us as a people us as a church as, as us as humanity whoever's making these covenants with god coming together all of us to then come together with god and covenant relationships like all of these things right coming together um is a really interesting way to think about it and 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 then thinking about some of the covenants that we actually make right we covenant to mourn with those that mourn we covenant to um to give all we have to the church or to the the work of god right and so when we come together and we we do that in a kind of communal setting then great things can happen and i think that's the power of that can be the power of organized religion um, it doesn't always work out that way and sometimes people even within our own church use it for evil obviously but that can be a a bonus a a result of an organized religion is that we're all coming together with the same intent with the same goal and with the same values and we get stuff done right we help people um and like i said it can always go in less pleasant and straight up bad directions obviously but um it makes me think about my covenants a little bit differently that our covenants are meant to to bring us together and to bring us together bring us together with god as well and later on he starts talking about temple covenants obviously specifically and he's talking about temples and he says their purpose is to bless the covenant children of god with temple worship and with the sacred responsibilities and powers and unique blessings of being bound to christ they receive by covenant and so he's talking about right the purpose of temples is to give us the place where we make these covenants um we get to make these covenants and then we get to go back and we get to feel of god's love and be in a dedicated space where we can more easily feel the presence of god it's not the only place that we can do that right but it is the place that is set apart and dedicated to do that so that's the only thing we do there and so um to think about that as well like our temple worship and and attending the temple the purpose being that we are coming together with our fellow saints to serve others right we're doing proxy work for for the dead um and also to remember our own covenants and the ways that we have come together with god and we share in that all together and that's a really beautiful experience it's very individual but it's also very collective that you know we're not going through the endowment session all by ourselves we're going with other people and and we can't do those ordinances without others right we can't do those ordinances without those who've been set apart and given keys and callings 
it, um, so that they can perform and administer those covenants, administer the ordinances. And so, um, I still feel, I still find a lot of individual peace and comfort going to the temple, but that's like an added bonus, right? That it's, it's also a collective thing. And we get to sit in the slush room all together and, um, and feel the God's love all together. And then as we are living those covenants and we have a, um, a kind of a, a built-in relationship with members around the world that, that other things happen as well, right? Like we, we all have some sort of built-in relationship. We're all, we're all human beings, but there is kind of a unique experience when you meet someone who is a member of the church. We were not expecting to. <laughs> and there's this kind of starting point, understanding and knowing um, that you have made those covenants, those same covenants, you and you kind of have an understanding, you come together in that way. So, my question for you all is, how, how do your covenants help you come together with God and come together with others? Um, Yeah, that's really all I've got to say. I like literally just all my spiel before that. And so, um, how do they do that? How do your covenants help you come together with God and come together with others? And that is all I've got for you guys today. Thank you so much for listening and or watching this episode. Um, I'd really appreciate any comments or emails, messages. I love to hear from you guys. All that information is always in my show notes below. And I will talk to you all next time.